Hi everyone, it's Julie from Soul Sparklets Art and I am here to show you how to draw this beautiful creature that lives in the ocean, the jellyfish. And this jellyfish is based on an illustrator whose name is Charlie Harper. And do you see all these beautiful pictures? Charlie Harper was known for these illustrations um, of lots of different things, but especially the animals and sometimes really known for the animals that are kind of looking directly at you. Um, like, do you see this turtle who's hiding in a shell, the crab? But especially, I fell in love with this jellyfish right here, and I especially fell in love with how Charlie Harper made it look like these tentacles are kind of feathery. So I wanted to show you how to do that with some chalk pastels. And here is the jellyfish and you can do this in whatever colors you want. So for this one I chose a, um, a bright orange and a pink and then for this one here I chose different colors. So these are a little bit darker, right? We have darker ocean colors, darker colored jellyfish, darker tentacles. So let me get started and show you and you can pick whatever colors look good to you. So we're going to be using chalk pastels. So my chalk pastels look a bit like this and they can look a little bit messy sometimes. You see how they don't look very clean? Even my white isn't very clean. So when you're working with chalk pastels, it's really nice to have a napkin or a piece of paper towel. And if you get a messy chalk pastel, like let's say this white one here, I can just take it and kind of rub it along this piece of paper towel and clean it off a little bit. Do you see how it gets clean really, really easily? So if you ever have chalk pastels that get a little bit messy, just have a piece of paper towel that you can wipe your fingers on or that you can clean your chalk pastel off on. And I'm going to show you some of the colors I've chosen today. So I chose a couple of greens for my seaweed or my kelp, some colors for my jellyfish, some colors for the sand, and also some pretty colors for the water. So you can get as light or as dark as you want. Um, for the kelp, I like having a lighter and a darker color to mix together for my seaweed. And then three, about three colors for your jellyfish. If you wanna go four or five and make a more rainbow jellyfish, you can feel free to do that. Um, you wanna pick a color that's really different from the other. So I have these kind of purpley colors. This one's a little bit more pink, but then I have a really bright yellow that'll really stick out. So that's why I chose the yellow. And then a couple different colors of browns. And then, like I said, you can choose whatever colors you want for your ocean. So we have a light blue and a dark blue. You might choose like a more turquoise color like this, but you can choose. And I just set mine aside just so you can see what I'm going to be using today. But I'm also going to need a piece of white paper just like this one. And I'm going to stand it up. And this jellyfish is really easy to draw, but kind of fun. If I'm going to draw one jellyfish, but as you're drawing, you might decide to draw two jellyfish. But the way we're going to get started is we are going to choose a light color first. So remember I had this yellow and look, it's looking a little bit dirty. So I'm going to get out my piece of paper towel already and just clean it off a little bit. There we go. That's looking much better. You can see how bright this yellow is. And I'm going to draw a rainbow line anywhere on my paper. Now I want him to have tentacles. So I want them to hang down. So I'm going to put it closer to the top of my paper, but I'm just going to draw a rainbow line just like that. And then I'm going to draw a line to connect it. Now I'm going to draw these fun scallop lines, which are like little tiny U's all the way across my jellyfish's top here. And then I am going to add my tentacles and I'm going to give him some short tentacles and some long ones. So I'm going to draw about four long ones first and I'm going to draw these lines and they can wave because they are in the water. This one might curl. This one might go this way. This one goes this way. So you can see it doesn't matter which way your jellyfish tentacles go. And then I'm going to give it some short ones. And my short ones can go right on top of these longer ones that I've drawn. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the feathery texture to the first long tentacle. So these four long tentacles that I did are going to get decorated. And the other ones are just going to stay the same. So I'm going to draw what looks like little arrows. 
line up and down, going along, all the way along and all the way to the bottom of my long tentacles. And it doesn't matter how many or how few you draw, but you can just smear it with one finger. Keep one finger just for, just kind of touch it a little bit and smooth it out. And then this is my second long tentacle. I'm going to add those same arrow lines, a line on each side going downward. And this gets a little confusing when it's curling here. So do your best to add a line on each side of the tentacle, no matter which way it decided to curl. You might get a little confused and sometimes I do too. And I'm just going to mess it up a little bit. And I'm messing it up a little bit because he's in the water. So he's not going to look perfect. These tentacles might um, have lots of little pieces to them and they're floating around. So it's not as sharp like a, like a line. Okay, here's the third one. I'm adding my little arrow lines. And then you can see my paper's already getting a little bit messy from where I touch some of the other colors. And that's okay, because I'm gonna be putting chalk pastels right on top. So you see how my paper is messy? I don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna let that be. And I'm gonna go ahead and add those arrow lines to my fourth long tentacle. And I forgot to lightly mess up my third one. Just kind of touching it a little bit, making it look a little bit messy. I'm gonna use that same color and I'm going to put it on its side. So instead of drawing with it like a pencil or a crayon, I'm gonna rest it on its side like it's being kind of lazy today. And I'm going to color in that top part of my jellyfish. Now you see I got a little sloppy look at this. I didn't even color this part in, but I'm gonna take my finger and I am going to rub those colors right in. Do you see how it filled in? I'm gonna add a little bit down here for these little U shapes. And then I'm gonna take my paper because I'm starting to get some chalk dust. I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna tap it. And that's gonna let some of that chalk dust. And I can take my fingers and wipe it on the paper towel to clean it a little bit. And then I'm gonna select my next color for my jellyfish. Now I chose these two. So I'm gonna choose the next darkest one, which is this pinky color. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add the same V lines and the same arrow lines to my long tentacles here. And I'm gonna do it right on top of the yellow ones. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom Here's my third one. And you can see that this is a darker color, so it's really showing up against that yellow. And then I'm gonna choose my fourth one here. And then I'm gonna take my blending finger I'm going to put this down just for a minute and I'm going to lightly blend that darker color. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm almost going to pet the lines. So I'm going to take my finger and go in the same direction that the line's going. So instead of just going this way, I didn't draw the line this way. I drew the lines going this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. So wherever you drew the line, however you drew it, that's the way your finger goes to blend the color. So it's almost like my finger's drawing that shape all over again. Come back and do a few of these again. And I'm gonna pick this color back up again and I'm gonna add a little bit almost like my jellyfish has some rosy cheeks. 
just a few little spaces for that color. So it's mostly yellow, but I want it to not only be yellow. I want there to be some areas where it has that pinky color as a part of it. And I can blend it all the way in or just in little spaces, little tiny pieces where it's that color. And then I'm gonna pick up my third color. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the same feathery textures to the tentacles that I, doing the exact same thing I just did with the pink. So I'm gonna come over here and the first thing I'm gonna do is draw those arrow lines. And then I bet you you know what we're gonna do next, right? We're gonna use our one finger and we're gonna draw over these lines. Oops, I forgot how this does a little curly cue here too. So I'm gonna add some arrow lines in there. And then it's gonna be like we're drawing again, but we're gonna draw with our finger. And with our finger, we're gonna make those colors kind of blend together. Okay, I'm gonna put this color down for a minute. And then remember how I said, it's like we're drawing them all over again, this time with our finger. And they should start looking like they are almost feathers. All these fun colors blending together. Now, if you use colors that are friends, like if you use yellow and red together, they might actually blend together and make orange. So it depends on what colors you use for your tentacles. Now I'm gonna pick my dark color up and now I'm gonna outline my jellyfish. So I, the same rainbow line as I did to draw my jellyfish, I'm gonna use my dark color. And I am going to go over those lines. Like I'm drawing it all over again. There's my U shapes. And I'm going to put some final stripes in. So at the very, very top, right here, and I can draw a little dot to remind myself. Do you see how each U comes to a point? So this U, when I drew it, came to this point. I'm gonna start at the point and I'm gonna draw a curve line that goes all the way to the dot at the top of the jellyfish. So I drew another U and it came to this point. So I'm gonna put my chalk pastel here, draw a line that goes to the top. Same thing here. Start here and go to the top. Here's a U again. Start here and I'm going to finish drawing a curved line for each one of the U shapes that I drew, no matter how I drew them. And I'm gonna take my, for a final step, and I'm gonna draw a few more short lines, short tentacles with my dark color. Now I can choose to blend them a little bit if I want. I can take my finger and just gently blend them. I am going to come up here and I'm going to smooth out the lines that I just drew. And again, I'm going in the same direction as I drew the line. Now I used a dark purple against this yellow, so it really adds a shadow. And I'll bring this one back. So some of them will look more like a shadow than others, just depending on what colors you use for your jellyfish. Now, your jellyfish needs a home under the sea, right? So we're gonna start by drawing some sand underneath. So I'm gonna choose a couple of colors of brown. I'm gonna make a horizon line for the sand. So I'm gonna draw a line and it doesn't have to be straight, but it's gonna go across the paper on the lower part. And I'm gonna lay my chalk pastel down. So instead of drawing with it, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown. Did you see that coloring job? I didn't color in all those areas, did I? I'm gonna get my dark brown and I'm gonna kind of put my dark brown over those areas I miss, 
just a little little bits of brown. And you see, I wasn't very perfect there. See, chalk pastels aren't that perfect. I'm gonna take my finger and now I'm gonna start rubbing those colors together. So where I put my dark brown, I'll end up with a darker area of my sand. And where I put more light brown, I'll end up with a lighter color. And I'm gonna smooth over the top of my sand too. And I'm going in a circular motion with my finger to blend it. Now, if you decide you want your sand to be darker over here, you can pick your dark color back up, add a little bit of dark color again, and blend it back in. So you can add dark colors and light colors. See how add some more light over here. So there's my sand. And now, you know what I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need some kelp or some seaweed. So I'm gonna choose a dark green and I'm gonna choose a light green. Here's my dark green. And I'm gonna draw some wavy lines. So what I'm doing is I'm drawing some wavy lines going all the way up. Some of them can be short. Some of them can be really long. And some of them are gonna run into my jellyfish. So this one came up to my jellyfish and then I started my line again past the jellyfish. So you can see my jellyfish takes up a lot of room. So I'm gonna take my dark color and I'm gonna start not at the top of my sand, but somewhere here, because my, my kelp and my seaweed's gonna be starting, growing right in the middle. And I'm gonna draw a wavy line all the way up, come to a point, and come down. If I run into my jellyfish, I'll just go through it with my finger. And I'm gonna come down. Now, I want there to be a lot of pieces of kelp, so I might draw a piece coming out of, out of the side. And this might be a piece that it grows, the plant grows in this spot, but there's lots of different pieces of the kelp. So this piece, whoa, this one got really tall, ran into my jellyfish, and it's probably right behind this jellyfish coming to a point. And then I'm gonna draw some on the other side too. Not at the same place, because I want it to look different. So this one is at this part of the horizon. I'm gonna start this one a little bit higher. Again, I'm gonna draw a wavy line. I'm gonna go past the jellyfish. And every time I run into a piece of the jellyfish, I'm just gonna skip over it. And this one, I think I'll draw two pieces. Now you can draw other things if you want in the sand. That is totally up to you. But I'm gonna pick up my light green and instead of drawing, because I was just drawing by holding it upright like a pencil or a crayon, this time I'm gonna lay this one on its side and I'm gonna add some green going up my seaweed. And notice how I'm not coloring in all the spaces, so I'm not worrying that the space is white. I'm just adding some lines while my piece of chalk is on its side, I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. It's on its side. Just gonna color it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna pick my dark piece up again. I'm gonna add a little bit of a line with it lying down as well. And now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna make the colors go together. So I have my light green and my dark green. And then I can use my finger to color in any of the spaces that I missed that are white. So like right here, this is white. And I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna spread the chalk into that area. There we go. I have my kelp and the last piece is my ocean. So I'm gonna pick a couple of colors here. I'm gonna choose a really light blue and then I think this one's gonna be too dark today for me. So I'm gonna use this light turquoise on top of it. I'm gonna start with the light color first. I'm, again, I'm not gonna draw with it. I'm gonna lie it down on its side and I'm gonna add little pieces of blue. And what I mean by little pieces is there's white here. Remember, I'm not gonna use my chalk pastel to draw in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue because I'm gonna use my fingers to push the blue into that space. 
and I'm lying it down right now on its side and I'm just adding a little bit of blue in those areas. Have some here and here's a little bit of space. Put some blue there and then before I use my finger I'm going to pick up my second blue and I'm going to use it to add now this one's a little bit brighter, like a turquoise. So I'm gonna use it to add little bits of turquoise in my water. And then I'm gonna use my finger. Now I had some green on my finger, so I'm gonna wipe it off just a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my finger, and now I'm going to finish by blending the blue together. And remember, I'm gonna take my finger and use it to push the color into any spaces that I want the color. So that's why I can be a little sloppy when I'm coloring with my chalk pastels. I'm gonna push that color down in there. And some of the green might smear with the blue and that's totally okay, that's what chalk pastels do. They kind of smear together and that's what makes them look so pretty. There we go. And there is my jellyfish. Now you might choose to add some fish or you might even choose to add another jellyfish. There's lots of things you can add. Some bubbles, you might even put a treasure chest down here or maybe a seashell, right? You could take your chalk pastels and you could add um, a seashell. And do you see how I'm drawing right on top of the sand? and I'm gonna add my seashell. Maybe another one with a, a curved line and then a triangle. And I like my seashell to have lines. So I think I might add some lines and do the outline of it. curve line and my triangle. So you can make some additions to your, your piece of art. And so always feel free to add whatever you want. So like I said, seashells, fish, treasure chests, there might be an anchor down there. You can do whatever you want. There's my beautiful jellyfish. And I'll show you how different they can look depending on what colors you use. See? But here's the one that we did today. This one I used brighter colors. And this one I used darker for the water. And I put a little bit more streaks to it as well. So it's gonna look different depending on what colors you use and depending on what day. Even if you're the same artist, your art is never gonna look the same twice. So I hope you enjoy this jellyfish and I'll be back next week with a new video. Bye everyone.